Out of diverse backgrounds, from youth to well-seasoned, in all corners of the globe, the members of OAMC create one voice with one message, sharing the love of Jesus and heralding His soon return. One. Just one person at a time makes all the difference in the world. There's Henry Barueta, a student of Walla Walla University. He invited a fellow student, a Romanian by the name of Alina Apostle, to come to Portland to sing for an OAMC festival. And I was like, wow, this is, this is uh, heavenly. You know, I, I could feel like I was singing with the angels at that time. Aline sang with OAMC until graduating from Walla Walla University, then returned to Romania to pastor. An accomplished musician himself, Aline recognized that music alone could not bring about the experience that had affected him so profoundly. He longed for the men of Romania to share the life-changing experience of this men's ministry and prayed for God to send someone to start a chorus there. Then he realized God had sent him. One young pastor with a passion for God and for music became a chorus of a hundred Romanian men. In 2009, nearly a hundred Americans joined them to energize the church in Romania, and lives were changed. But God and Aline didn't stop with Romania. On June 2 of this year, Aline led 100 men from Madrid, Spain, in their inaugural concert. Like the Romanian chorus, they too have identified themselves as a chapter of the Oregon Adventist Men's Chorus, founded for the same purposes, singing much of the same music, even using the OAMC logo. Headed by Lou as guest conductor for half of the concert, three of OAMC's administrative team helped to produce this event. Aline wrote to us, Thank you for all you do to keep the flame of OAMC burning. We, your brothers in Romania and Spain, are following in your footsteps. The flame is burning here too. The Holy Spirit moves. God is glorified. Jesus is uplifted. People are drawn closer to Him. What a miracle! One man stepped forward at the 2010 General Conference in Atlanta after hearing OAMC sing. Nakasahai opened the door for a joint venture with OAMC in 2012, which drew singers from South Africa, Botswana, Lesotho, and Zimbabwe. And lives were changed, and a new church was born. You know, the Word of God says, and I, I looked, and there was no one to stand in the gap. Um, and today, just by coming here, you stood in the gap for us. One reluctant teacher, one life-changing weekend. Ben Purvis, then at Gem State Academy, grudgingly accepted his principal's edict to welcome OAMC on campus. Cross-generational, building bridges, students through seniors, strengthening their connections to the church as they move on through life. And we sang those words to I then shall live as one who's been forgiven who God has done everything for. I couldn't sing. I could not sing, it was just too much. The power that was there, the spiritual power and the enrichment that was there. I'm not sure all of you guys know how the Spirit is leading you. I cannot finish this weekend without asking if there's anybody here who has decided to give their life to Jesus. You too? He also. Oregon Conference Vice President Dave Allen was present in Johannesburg three weeks later when Stephen followed through on this commitment. He commented, the story of Stephen Morang brings together all the aspects of OAMC's work person-to-person -person sharing, global missions, education, youth. Truly an example of members in ministry. It is my privilege as a pastor of the gospel to now baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 
Amen. Hallelujah. And Jesus said, say it together, this is my beloved Son in whom I am well pleased. Amen. Amen.